it's Michelle and I've got a really fun table setting for you guys. It's been a while since I did a table setting or napkin folding or anything like that and I had the idea for this one and I really wanted to share it with you guys. We're going to be doing a traffic light table setting and this idea was inspired by my daughter getting her first car recently but I think this would also be good for a sweet 16 when they're first getting their driver's license or anything like that. So the first thing we're going to do in our table setting is a set of keys and I think this is really fun. We're going to do a little key ring with our utensils on it. And I thought of that with these little mini spoons and forks from Dollar Tree. I thought that would be so much fun. They are a little small for actually eating with, but I thought it was such a fun idea. I just had to do it anyway. I did find a set of the mini forks at Dollar General that are quite a bit wider, and these would be better for actually eating with, but my Dollar General didn't have the spoons to go with it. And if you could find the spoons, I think these would be great. They're wider, so they're better for eating with, but still very short and mini, so it would be good on the key ring. But we're going to use the smaller ones from Dollar Tree today, just because I have both the spoons and forks in the matching size. And I'm going to be using my heat tool, and this one I received as a gift, and it is the Creative Versatile, and that's by Walnut Hollow. I'll try to find a link to this for you guys, but if not, you can get heat tools at Walmart or just about anywhere, and they're pretty inexpensive and will come in handy for so many other projects too. Also, I have a glass cutting board, and I just bought mine from Big Lots locally, and I think it was about $5. Very inexpensive, and for using the heat tool, I really suggest getting a glass cutting board. It's tempered glass, so it can withstand the heat of the tool and protect your surface underneath. So I'm going to take out one spoon and one fork. And I really wish they had had tiny little knives to go with this set. That would have been really, really cute. And on my heat tool, I have it fitted with the round pointed tip. And be sure to put that on before you turn your heat tool on to heat up. And we're just going to take that heat tool and just pierce a hole straight through the handle of our spoon and fork so it can go onto our key ring and I think it's going to be so cute and so much fun. So I have the setting on my heat tool at about three quarters of the way up and I've had that heating up for a few minutes. So we're going to go ahead and try that and see what we get. And this would actually be quick and easy to do a whole set of these if you're doing a large party. And that tip, by the way, is the soldering tip. Okay, so I'm just going to hold that and just pierce right through. And you can see how that just melts right through and makes a hole in that. And you want to make sure that we get a large enough hole that it's going to go on our key ring. And that just went through like butter. Like I said, you can do a whole set of these for an entire party if you want to. But I'm just doing this one for an example for you guys today. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat tool off. And set that aside. And for my key ring, I'm just using a little book binding ring. They split open in the middle, so it's going to be very easy to use. Whereas a regular key ring is more of a split hook, and that might be kind of difficult to get your spoon and fork onto there. This one is about an inch and a quarter in size. 
and I'm just going to put my utensils right on there and close it up and you've got a cute little key ring of utensils and I'm going to be adding a little tassel keychain. I thought that would make it fun and whimsical and look a little bit more like a set of keys. I think the tassel is a lot of fun. Also, the large fuzzy pom-poms are very popular or maybe something a little more masculine if you're doing this table setting for a boy who just got their first car or their driver's license. Just kind of match the key ring to the person that you're going to be doing it for. So now for the place setting and before I show you guys what I decided on I'm going to show you a few things that I tried along the way that may or may not work for you. My first thought was to take a black placemat. Okay so here is my black placemat and this was my first thought that I was going to have the placemat turned in this direction and have a red, yellow, and green plate or bowl or something as the setup on here for the traffic lights. However, when I got the even the small dessert size plates, they really didn't fit on there. As you can see, they hang over the edge, so it's not really looking like a traffic light for me. I did want to use the plates, and that's what I'm going to end up using in the end. But another thought that I had for this is bowls. And I found these bowls. They came from Dollar General. And I had the red ones from last year. If you remember, I used those in a fairy mushroom table setting where this was the mushroom top. And this year, they had the yellow and the green. So I bought those and brought them home to see how that worked out for me. And you could create your table setting like this. And it sort of fits, but sort of not. So it's up to you guys. However, I do think with the bowls, the way they round out when you display them upside down is really, really fun. But I still didn't think it was quite long enough. They do fit on the placemat. So if you don't want to go to extra trouble of making something longer, you can go ahead and use this. Or maybe you can find smaller plates or even smaller bowls than this. Whatever is going to work for your table setting just as long as you can fit a red, a yellow, and a green on there. So what I decided on was poster board. And I can't quite get the entire thing in frame for you guys, but I will have a photo that's backed up for you later so you can see the entire thing. What I did was just take a piece of poster board, which starts out 22 inches tall by 28 inches wide. I kept the 22 inches in height and I cut it down to 12 inches wide. And with that, you'll be able to get two out of each poster board if you want to do multiples. And then after I cut it down to 22 by 12, I just took my original placemat here and put it down to the corner and cut those angles off which you don't really have to do if you don't want to but I really loved that shape so I wanted to go ahead and cut the corners off and then I took a sharpie and just went around the edge because when you cut that you can see that there's a white core inside of the poster board so then after I got that cut and fixed on the edges that was all I needed to do and then I can lay out my plates and there is plenty of room for all three red, yellow, and green. You can even have enough room to space them out some so that you've got a little bit of space in between those. And then you just place your keys 
to the side. And I know some of you are thinking that this is such a huge table setting that it's 22 inches tall and that's a little bit difficult. And that's why I would only use this particular table setting for the guest of honor, the one who just got their first car or just got their driver's license or is having a sweet 16 birthday party. And the other guests could have just a regular black placemat with one large plate each being a combination of either they get a red plate or a yellow or a green. And this one is just the special setting for the guest of honor. I think it's a lot of fun. I hope you guys like it too. So you guys be sure to leave a comment and let me know what you think of my traffic light table setting. I think it's a lot of fun and I really have a lot of fun coming up with it. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Give me a like over on my Facebook page and be sure to join our Facebook group Crafty Minds. Also follow me on Pinterest and Instagram and don't forget to visit my blog. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.